Anybody who have a question or a comment or statement to make, go ahead and raise your hand. I'll come by with the microphone. Ask them what they um, We have about 15 minutes to do Q&A, so if I don't get to everybody that has a question or comment, feel free to ask them or speak to them in the lobby. They'll be here, okay? So I'm going to get started right here. Hi, guys. My name is Phil Thomas. I'm here to No Song. Well, um, 
Um, for me, uh, first the character is Nigerian, and I'm, of, I'm Nigerian American, but of Nigerian descent, um, and I can relate to the character. And I was also a security guard at some point in my life. <laughs> Flexibility. <laughs> so, and when he told me the character was a security guard, I thought it was the funniest thing because, like, the frustration that I I experienced in real life, I just kind of just brought it into the character, and it just felt like really somebody that was someone I knew. Uh, but just to try to find like nuances to kind of separate myself from the character. So I could definitely relate to Nosa. And also, he's of Edo culture from Nigeria. If anybody is there, Nigerians in the house? Oh, cool, international, cool. Well, we have, <laughs> we have like different um, states and cultures, and Edo State is not one of the popular ones, so him having a cast with Edo characters is a big representation, like is a minority within the country. So it's, it's really good. Thank you. Lambda trained. I went to school for acting in London at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts. Um, but I haven't done much film acting. I've done a lot of stage work in the West End and I toured across Africa with the Kenyan National Troupe. I did The Lion King and Phantom of the Opera. Um, and then I did some work in Nigeria. I was on a major TV show there called Battleground on African Magic MNET. Um, I lie. I have been in a movie, but I wasn't a leading lady. I've been in Lotana, which was also a Nigerian movie. Um, and I just, I do lots of TV work, but kind of just like journalism, you know, hosting. And <laughs> um, but yeah, it was such a great opportunity to be able to. I think this is, yeah, this is my first leading role. So. Oh. Yeah, she's on MasterChef. She was on MasterChef. Oh. Yeah, I her. Yeah, yeah. So when she was cooking in the film, and she was like showing us her skills. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I've been, I get, when somebody says, how long have you been acting, you say all your life, but like professionally, I'll say like six years, I went to New York Film Academy and studied, well, from Stony Brook, I studied theater in college, then I went to New York Film Academy, studied acting for film, I just went at it, you know, do gigs, start some clips, then turn to web series, to shorts, and then I had my first feature film, The Lovebirds, it was in theaters in <coughs> Africa. Um, and actually, Joseph, the guy who plays the one trying to steal my woman, <laughs> he played something else in the other movie we did. He's actually a, you know, a big star in Nigeria. So um, that was that, and this is my second feature film, and we hope there are many more to come. <laughs> you guys did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Uh, first, I just want to say that I 
just have a, a comment. Thank you for a beautiful movie, very romantic and appropriate on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. questions very quickly. How long did the film take to how long did it take to film this movie? Um, <laughs> not very long at all. Yeah. Yeah. It was like I said, my wife said we have a, a short window. Um, so before the kids come back from their little uh, trip, the two kids come back, let's make something. So um, I was off at that time and so it took uh, ten days. Wow. But but there's more to it. Six of those days were half days, which oh. means my wife will finish work and she'll come, and then we'll go we'll go down and start filming for six days, and then the weekends we film for the full days. So it was like a lot of. And you know what? I, let me just say this. Um, this there was a lot of miracles. I want to just thank God for this. You know, um, I really I can't I can't you know can't be here without you saying that because even the fact that. We're she said to then align in two days. We, we found she came on board um, the day before we started filming. Wow. Yeah, the wow. night before we started filming. Wow. And so that was God answering the prayer because I was about to lose all the money and invest it because we were having problems finding somebody in. So that was a miracle. Um, the fact that we shot it 10 days, miracle weather, miracle, you know, and, um, and the fact that we got through, I know friends who have a lot of money and didn't finish their film. So. This is a miracle, and that voice must have been coming back. <laughs> and I had one comment, just one comment, that I had said to my cousin, who is named Cynthia? I said to her, <laughs> Give it, Cynthia. Right. <laughs> it was so wonderful to have the character be, to me, it was like a father figure who saw that his son was yeah. in trouble yeah. yes. and reached out to him. Had he not went and talked to him, yes. these two young people that really loved each other probably would have drifted apart. Yeah. So I thought that was beautiful to include that. Yeah. Just yeah. Can, you, can you guys something on uh, the inspiration for, the, for, like, for that? Um, um, the story of the Garden of Eden, right? Mm -hmm. So you have Adam, you have Eve, yeah. and you have uh, um, the serpent, the serpent yeah. and you have the apple. Yeah. So you, you find the character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and stand up. You, you had a question, right? Now, well, yeah. I, I, I was just going to say, from the beginning to the end, this movie was really, really good. I've been married for 27, 28 years. And Congratulations. <laughs> but you know, you have a friend like that. She's not married right. and going to try to tell right. you something. Uh -huh. You know, she can't tell you anything. And then, you know, you look. I looked at the little details. Your little couch, your chair was so cute. Your bedroom <laughs> set was really nice. And Cynthia's apartment looked like crap. So how's she going to tell you? The details were just so nice. That was and awesome. She, she, she had a character with someone that would take the little... And made it and make it absolutely, absolutely. Yes. absolutely. Yes. And can I say that in my younger days, I used to be, you know, I'll just say I had a lot of friends. And what made me love my husband is what, and your character remind me so much of him because he loved me so much and he was just willing to do so much and it just made me just love him more so to bend your knee and to be that man, that's what we really love. Yeah. That's, that's what we love. Um, I particularly like the ending of it uh, when you caught the guy there and it wasn't a predictable thing where he would get outraged but instead uh, he remembered yeah. you know, what the uh, uh, landlord had uh, said to him and he was on a mission and he put all that aside and uh, popped the ring out again. That's right. You know, yeah, that's that's right. The yeah. It kicked in between 5 and 6 in the morning. <laughs> 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 I would like to piggyback on the professor. That's my friend over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back okay. here. Okay. Hey. On that, I like that ending too. I was glad that he kept his composure and he knew what he was coming for. Just totally ignored that other man. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. So you know, sometimes, you, sometimes the man focus on that other person mm -hmm. instead of the yeah. real person. Right. Right. You know, right. and since it's messing with him, come and get what you come for. Get that's your right. woman. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. Yeah. The title, the love between us. You yeah, know, a lot of times yeah, we, that's right. it, um, it could be somebody else, it could be in-laws, it could yeah. be other people, mm -hmm. and we focus on them 
But when you come together, you see how they were, they were embraced, that's and it's like you shut them out altogether. Yeah. That's right. And he was just standing there. I'm sitting like, go on, man. Go on. He's just talking to door like, go on, man. They're like looking at you. So, yeah, I, I like that, too. And I like the fact that you finally told your friend, like, hey, this he paying you, and you messing my life up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, just like she said, I'm sure had a friend like that, we have yeah. to be like, girl, I need you to get out of my face. Yeah. Because you are just all right. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> that right there. Like, yeah. yeah. That was hilarious for me, because I just had to tell two females, like, no, back on front. Yes. <laughs> and, um, so that was, that was actually cool. That was a good part of it, too, you know, because it showed how uh, the dynamic between friends can go so wrong yeah. when somebody's trying to interfere in your private affairs. Mm -hmm. Your friends don't need to know everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. you know, even though we have best friends that we want to tell everything to, sometimes some of those little details, we got to be like, nah. Because I already know she might have some type of opinion that might destroy what, what I'm already feeling. You know, mm -hmm. So that was that was a real cool part of the film, too. So my, my uh, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, um, one, I just love, I I, in my thoughts, I think that this is like the time for black film. Like, mm -hmm. It yeah. just, it, we we are we're like just knocking the, the box office off. Yes, we are. And mm -hmm. I just love it. And to see, like you know, those who love like Nollywood, you've been watching it. <laughs> right. when there were the CDs coming from right. the friend or the boyfriend, and you in the house, you know. And to see it in the Pan African Film Festival is just like. Wow, you yes. know what I'm saying? Um, I wanted to know how did you end up meeting the actors? Like, how did they come across? Because um, you, because this happened in ten days. Yes, yeah, so right. 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 What I'm saying is, you know, you put that audition out. Okay. Uh, but when you begin to talk to people and relate to people, that you get it right. And initially, just because they had, we had talked right about how playing a different role, but I schedule. I was supposed to be Cynthia. Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> So bad because I, I just kind of felt like she, you know, she, I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't see much sleep, but in our discussion, I could tell, tell she can, she can, she can, she can, she can show for acting, right? So I was trying to get her on so bad, and she said, Oh, well, she's scheduled for something else, whatever. And um, and I'm glad that you know her plans are canceled because we we're, were losing our lead, and then she calls the day before. That's a miracle. I'm telling yeah. you. I mean, so, so the, the fight scene, right? She was basically just letting your lines and Bring it up. That was, I mean, we gotta make it the making of the movie. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I believe both of you guys broke the record. <laughs> Filming a movie in ten days—that's wow. a record breaker. Yeah, learning your lines in two days—that's a record breaker. So give them a hand for that. Because that's what I just want to tell you that was masterful. Um, I think that the writing, the script writing, and the, the relationship between our actors and actresses were so real that it's hard for you not to get into this this, this movie. And I think that beyond anything else, all the technical and all that, it, this was like captivating. Thank you. So very good job, and I commend you guys on that. And it's it's really surprising to have these actors and actresses here because honestly, they were really good. I mean, my yes, best friend were. is Nosa, so it's it's great to have a Nosa in, in in the part. So it's great. Thank you. And it's good to hear a man say that. Yes, it is. Because you don't hear a lot of black men. It's like, uh, yeah, I like love movies. They be like, man, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. that was you know what though? I, I was telling my son today. And I was saying that within the last 10 years, we really haven't had any real love music. Like, as a culture, we totally, at this decade, we totally eliminated love music. True. This has been the only decade we've lived in that we've never had love music. Yeah. And, and I it's, like that, too. Yeah. And it's deep, because I'm telling my son, you know, wish my mom, your mom, you know, happy Valentine's Day. And he had a real negative response to that. Oh. And I was like... I see why, because the music you're listening to right. and what you're seeing is not about love. No, yeah. So what I really liked about this movie is that you took enough care 
mm-hmm. to make it real. Yes, he did. Like he didn't make it sensational. Like I had to do some, some. No, you, you mm-hmm. made it real, and that's mm-hmm. why it like touched me. Cause I was like, yeah, some of these arguments we have it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the way they had, it, I was like, that's a real conversation. Like, you know, it, it didn't go Tyler Perryish. It was like, real. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, he's seventeen. And how to deal with a marriage, and how to deal with you know trials and tribulations in a marriage. You know this could teach them a lot. Like I even said, I was gonna bring my son. My son's twelve, but I would love to bring him to see the majority of these movies in here, just so he can get a, a better understanding of things. So I, I just you guys are great. And, and believe me, we played this at a, at a Bronx Community College, and I was nervous because like it's a young, you know, young people. They're not gonna get it, they're not gonna want to, and they were just like this. Like yeah. so young people they get it. But when, when you see love, you recognize it. Yeah. It says we recognize real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So and, and to respond to what you were saying, um, it's just about the message, you know? Yeah. We as artists we have the duty to pass a message and it's not about us, it's what you're putting on, which is why I'm so grateful for Christian's work because He's showing like love at his core, and you know you talk about happily af- happily ever after. This is the after. This is when you complain about the toilet seat, right? It's the real stuff. And, and we did a screening in New York. I invited a friend of mine who's married, and after they're like, you know what? I think I'm about to make dinner for my wife tonight. I said, you don't do that. And then that's what we're doing. We're helping people. We're, we're spreading love, and that's important, you know. So I'm I'm really glad everyone's feeling that. <laughs> Thank you guys and God bless y'all.